This is Newsbreak 26 in Southwest New Brunswick. I'm Vicki Hogarth. Here's what's happening in our part of the world. In the early hours of Thursday morning, Back Bay was rocked by a series of fires near the wharf. Eastern Charlotte Fire Chief Justin Johnston told CHCO that emergency services responded to a call regarding a vehicle fire at the wharf around 3.30 a.m. When they arrived, they also noticed that a fishing vessel was also on fire. Firefighters were still battling stubborn flames engulfing the boat christened the Maritime Queen by late Thursday morning. The smell of smoke filled the air as more first responders arrived to help with the investigation. A building owned by Kelly Cove Salmon Limited also bore the scars of fire damage. However, thanks to the swift action of first responders, the blaze was contained before it could consume the entire structure. The efforts of firefighters undoubtedly prevented a potentially catastrophic situation from escalating further. Yet amidst the smoldering wreckage, questions linger. Authorities confirmed that the truck, boat and building involved in the fires do not belong to the same individual, deepening the mystery surrounding the incident and raising concerns about potential foul play. In light of these suspicions, RCMP investigators are now tasked with unraveling what happened with officers meticulously combing the area for evidence, including dusting for fingerprints and collecting any pertinent clues that could shed light on the events of that fateful night. Police dogs have also been brought in to aid with retrieving evidence. As the investigation unfolds, the community remains on edge, grappling with feelings of unease and uncertainty. CHCO will continue to cover the story as the investigation unfolds. The St. Andrews Chamber of Commerce recently hosted its first annual Business Gala Awards at Drew Haven Town & Country in St. Andrews, celebrating excellence and innovation in the local business community. Among the esteemed winners of the evening was Kimberly Fillmore Guerin, who was awarded the Tourism Excellence Award for her outstanding contributions to the tourism sector, particularly during her time at NBCC St. Andrews. Dominic Berlanger of Kennedy House was honored with the prestigious Business Leader of the Year Award, acknowledging his exemplary leadership and vision in guiding Kennedy House to success. And finally, St. Andrews Brewing Company was recognized as the Organization of the Year, a testament to their commitment to crafting exceptional brews while fostering a sense of camaraderie within the community. The Gala Award ceremony served as a platform to celebrate and showcase the diverse talents and achievements of the St. Andrews business community. Attendees were treated to an evening of networking, camaraderie, fine dining and celebrations, as well as a presentation from guest speaker Andy Byton. Finally, the St. Croix Vocational Centre thrift store has found a new home at 4 Burton Avenue in St. Stephen. This bustling hub serves as dual function, offering employment training to clients of the Vocational Centre and generating vital income to sustain operations. The thrift store's relocation marks a new chapter in its mission to support the community while empowering individuals to enter the workforce with confidence. The new space has a donation drop-off location which allows them to accept donations directly on-site at the new location during specified hours. Our store location you can drive right around back. There's a big bay door or there's a smaller door. Um, you can drop donations off during our operating hours here and there's a doorbell right beside the door. So you just ring the doorbell and someone will come out and help you with your donations. That's all the news I have for you. For more stories and online exclusives, follow me, Vicki Hogarth, on Facebook and subscribe for free to CHCO TV on YouTube. A news and public affairs production of CHCO TV. New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.